Mary's love for Prehen runs deep, but there's a whisper in these woods of a much darker passion, and it goes back centuries. Prehen, the Wood of the Crows, was the setting for a story of love, betrayal and murder back in the 1700s. It began here, in the heart of the forest, at the home of Andrew Knox, the local MP. John McNaughton called it Prehen House. He was a man of means, from a well-to-do family, but he was a gambler, a rogue. The MP's 15-year-old daughter, Mary Ann, knew nothing of that and fell for him. In Prehen Wood, the couple courted in secret, knowing her family would never have approved. This was to be a fatal attraction. McNaughton's darker side was clear at the gaming tables. And one night, on the turn of a card, he lost the entire family fortune. He panicked and quickly arranged a secret marriage to get his hands on her money. But when Andrew Knox found out, he was furious and refused to recognise the union. Her father forbid Mary Ann to meet McNaughton ever again, and so the distraught teenager poured out her lonely heart on paper. A secret plan was hatched that would allow them to keep in contact. Each day, her maid would smuggle a love letter into the woods and post it in a tree. McNaughton would wait to collect it and then deliver one of his own. Mary Ann lived for his letters, but there was a sinister message in his last note. They shall not have you, my love, he said, depend on it. Andrew Knox wouldn't let his daughter out of his sight and forced her to accompany him to Parliament in Dublin. McNaughton got wind of it and lay in wait with murder on his mind. <coughs> McNaughton fired the fatal shot. Tragically, he had misjudged, and his love, Mary Ann, lay lifeless in her father's arms. John McNaughton was sentenced to death for her murder. On the 15th of December 1761, he stepped up to the gallows. But the rope that should have hanged him broke. By law, he could have walked away a free man. Instead, he climbed back up and put the noose around his neck. John McNaughton died unable to live with the guilt of Mary Ann's death and unwilling to be remembered as John half hanged McNaughton of Prehen precisely the name he's known by today. And if you're alone in Prehen Woods these days, some say you can still hear his cries echoing through the trees. Next time, we explore a top secret bunker hidden in a county down garden, find flesh-eating plants in a sparren mountain wilderness, 
and see reasons to be cheerful in County Antrim.